beautiful day, beginning of February, Ontario, Canada. It's 2021. It's been the most interesting year, certainly, of my life. Very interesting time we're in at the moment. I remember, I remember many years ago, I was in the desert in, in uh, just north of Kandahar. And we were out on this thing called a mobility patrol. And I, one of the reasons why I joined the army was because of the food. I, I used to eat a lot, still kind of eat a lot. And mobility, oof, you did not get, you weren't getting good food. <laughs> so mobility, mobility operations were one of my least favorite. I remember, um, we were a few days into it, maybe around a week into it or so, and there was a little bit of downtime, and and uh, my section commander came up to me and he said, "Hey, Devin, we got the sat phone for an hour or something. You wanna you wanna grab it and call home?" And I was really excited. I think it was I think it was actually. Uh, sometime over Christmas so so yeah I was I was really happy happy to call home anyways reception was terrible and I'd done a couple tours already at this point and Jody Jody really knew all the realities of what I was doing and um, anyways, the call was rough. On the call, the call kept on getting broken up, and there was static. And and I remember there was like a 20-second pause where where the the air was basically dead. Anyway, she came back into the reception, and I w I was so happy to be talking to her. And when kicked back in, I came to hear her sobbing because she thought that she was hearing, you know, the disconnection was from me being blown up or whatever, something terrible. Anyways, at the end of this talk, I'm going to include a song that was written about that from uh, a good friend of hers, a guy called uh, Bob, Rob, Rob Reynolds, great guy that uh, Jody used to work with. And it's, a, it's a real tearjerker, especially for anybody out there who can relate, military spouses or military guys. Anyways, so Mental Health Month just came and went. Uh, believe it or not, I threw away all my crutches for January. Uh, feel a little bit better beginning of this month than uh, than I did at the beginning of last month. There's nothing like being alive and living life to its absolute fullest. People get hurt, hurt your leg, you need crutches. Throw your crutches away. When you can, you throw them away. Because if you hold them too long, they'll just end up hurting you. It gets confusing a lot. Sometimes, the crutches that we reach for, they end up hurting us more in the long run 
And I'm not speaking to you from some place of authority. I'm not a doctor. I'm definitely the patient, okay? Uh, I can just share with you my own my own mistakes in this life. But what I saw in, in my time was a lot of things, myself, a lot of people, myself included, reached for things like drugs, alcohol, relationships that were probably more damaging than they were beneficial. And at times, it's maybe what you need. And this is not me saying that all that stuff is only, only terrible. But, but sometimes that stuff can hurt you more than it helps you. And I would just encourage everyone to, to throw away your crutches whenever possible. Uh, last thing I just say is don't don't do it for yourself because I know that sometimes you can get to a place where <laughs> you don't want to do anything for yourself. Do it for your friends, for your family, for your parents, for your country, or even just even just do it for the energy that you're going to leave behind when it's all done. Always think whenever there's a decision to be made, big future. Big future. Big future. Enjoy the song. Thanks, Rob. And uh, love each other. Love your families.